In I2 teacher training, I stress the importance of using studios in Scratch. A studio enables you to combine shared Scratch projects into one easy to find web page. Those could be your projects as the teacher or the student projects. To get to your studios or to go and create your own studio, you'll have to go to My Stuff. You can do that by going to the username, clicking on My Stuff, or the folder, which is a shortcut to the same page, My Stuff. To see your studios that you may have already created, just click on My Studios. To start, you'll have no studios. So to create a new studio, click Plus New Studio. Just like Scratch Project, if you click the untitled studio, we can change it. Let's call this just Demo Game Studio. If you wish, you can add a thumbnail, and it's also a good idea to put a description there. I suggest creating at least two studios. One studio prior to the start of the class, where you can share projects the same way I have, such as your debug project if you want to share a project for students to debug, and then having a student project studio where they can share their projects with you and also with each other. might also be a good idea to have a third studio just for those final games that you want to showcase on the last day of class. So right now, I've created a studio, but I don't have any projects in it. Well, if I want to add my own projects, I can just click Add Projects, and it will show all of the projects that I've shared. Remember, you need to share your project before you can add it to a studio. So let's say I want to add the scroller game. Click Add, and there it is. I can also sh see any projects that I've favorited. So if you've favorited, clicked Favorite on student projects. That's another way that you could find them. And there's even a My Recent Views. Not so sure how helpful that is, because generally you're going to be looking at student projects on their computers throughout the day rather than looking at them on your own computer. How would you add student projects? Well, let's collapse this you can add their projects by typing in the URL for their project. Now what I recommend you do is copy your URL, paste it here, projects slash, and then just ask them for the number of their project. If they've shared their project Unfortunately, the Scratch server can take several days to include it in searches. So it's not going to be helpful to search by title or username initially until it's been indexed. So it's going to be important for you to get the actual number of their project. Or what could work much better when you're having students add their project to your studio is to instruct the students to go to your studio and then as long as you've clicked allow anyone to add projects here, when they go to your studio, they'll have the option to add their own projects the same way that you have the option to add your projects. That's probably going to be, work much better for you, especially if you have a large class. So having them come to your studio page, you can just give them the URL and instruct them to change whatever URL they have there on the Scratch website to studios slash and the number of your studio. Then they can add their project to your studio. There are a few other things that are useful here. You can see comments. So comments can be added for the entire studio. It's a way to comment on the work as a whole if you want to provide comments that everybody in the class would see. You can also assign curators. You can invite students to manage other projects. This is something cool to do at the end of your course if you want them to continue gathering great games from each other and maybe also from peers. 
And then as a teacher, you might find it helpful to see the activity. This can show you which students have added projects. Now, another important thing for the studio is being able to delete projects. So to do that, notice when I hover my cursor over the project, an X appears, and that gives me the option to delete the project. Unfortunately, it doesn't let you confirm, so please make sure that that is what you want to delete from your project. So studios can be really handy. It's quite important that you have online access for your studios because you cannot create studios from the offline version in Scratch. In the offline version, you can upload your project to the web, but you'll have to share it on scratch.mit.edu and then add it to studios.